seemed fine. Fighter safety is paramount, but now on to the last fight of the evening. Sandeep Daya from the Pirates. Fortunately, cannot do anything at this point because they have lost. Takes on Wesley Welsh of the Delhi Heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the cage, Wesley Welsh! Welcome to the cage, Wesley Welch fighting for the first time with absolutely no pressure as his team is going to the final. Wesley's one of the most interesting guys I've met in fighting. I got to see him. He lives in the same area in Washington State that I do, so I've seen him around to fight. Got to get to know him here. He's stepping up uh, two weight classes in order to fill a team's need. And that's just that fighting spirit that they have. Uh, he certainly, against Sandeep, does not want to trade punches. Look to get it to the ground. It's going to be hard to take down somebody that big. But if he's able to, he needs to stay active. Continue to switch because he's not going to be able to outstrength Sandeep. Very true. I spoke with him earlier and he told me that was exactly his game plan. He does not want to trade with the heavy hitter. He knows Sandeep packs the punch. He's going to look to drag it to the ground. And we've seen Sandeep in the second round. If he can drag it to the later round, Sandeep has a tendency to gas. And that's one of the issues when you carry as much muscle and use as much strength as Sandeep does. Conditioning becomes even more paramount. That and his conditioning and his technique are going to be the advantages that West brings into the cage tonight. And his opponent making his way to the cage, Sandeep Dahia! Introducing to the cage, Sandeep Dahia with an expression on his face that seems nothing short of disappointed. Sandeep knows his team has lost, but this is to prove a point that he still is a force to be reckoned with inside that cage. Well, Sandeep has fought all three and won all three of his fights. One by knockout, one when he made a mid Tafa quit after just one round, and then he got a TKO win. He's coming in against somebody who's going to be much more technical than him, but at the same time a lot smaller. He's going to want to use those combinations. Don't just throw a heavy bomb where he might get taken down or slide around. Uh, Wes is probably going to be looking for the takedown, so stuff that. And then just be patient. You're bigger than your opponent. You don't need to try and overwhelm him. All he needs is one shot, so he needs to avoid gassing himself out early. He needs to be careful of the level changes that Wesley is going to be looking to do. Because Wesley will probably look to throw a 1-2 and immediately tie him up. Sandeep is to be watch out for that, keep that range, keep that distance and look for that big KO. But here we go to the tail of the tape. Sandeep there for the Pirates taking on Wesley Welsh for the Heroes. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. Slight height and reach advantage goes to Wesley. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, his style mixed martial arts. He weighed in at 88.7 kilograms, representing Delhi Heroes. Give it up for Wesley, the Salamander Wells. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, his style boxing. He weighed in at 91.9 kilograms, representing Goa Pirates. Give it up for Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Alan Fernandez. All right, gentlemen, you have been through the rules in the locker room. Defend yourself intelligently. If you want, touch gloves now and step back to your corner. Here we go. It's all but done. Delia has advanced to the finals. This one is for pride. Sandeep in the blue and Wesley in the white like we said earlier Wesley has no pressure on him he can take it easy not take any risks because he might be called in to fight next week now yeah he's got to be careful he doesn't take too much damage especially against an opponent this side he says his finishing move is the Sally surprise I asked him what it was and he said <laughs> it's a surprise so <laughs> I'm interested to see what he's going to bring, oh, especially against somebody on deep size. He's the character, all right, but we get down to business now. Nice outside leg kick by Wesley. Sandeep coming in, trying to close that range. 
good movement so far by Wesley. I'd like to see Wesley moving more to his left away from that power. When you're fighting somebody in the opposite stance, the battle is who can keep their lead leg outside of their opponents. Very, very good point made by my co-commentator Harrison. You do not want to be going towards that power. You want to move against it. And Sandeep being the southpaw, you can see Wesley turning to his right. is straight into that big, big left hand. Wesley shirt is being very cautious, but he's showing no fear of engaging with Sandeep. A lot of using a lot of feints, keeping Sandeep guessing, and that's really as the smaller, quicker fighter going to be such an important tool for him. Both fighters taking their time. Sandeep is looking for that big shot, trying to close that distance, corner Wesley, and land that big overhand left. Wesley having none of it, like you said, constantly feinting, keeping him guessing, taking his time. I don't like that Sandeep is backing up. He's fighting a much smaller opponent who's not going to hit nearly as hard. If my opponent was closing the distance for me, I'd be happy to stand in the pocket and throw a counter left straight. No, I think Sandeep is getting thrown off because of those feints. I don't think he anticipated uh, Wesley feinting so much. And that's great strategy on Wesley's behalf because... Oh, look at this. He's edging him on saying, come on. See, and he's giving space. Every time Wesley comes forward with something, he's letting him off the cage. He needs to get Wes's back to the cage so he can be aggressive. I think Sandeep needs to step in. The minute Wesley looks to kick, he could look to catch that kick, come over with that big left hand. Right now, he hasn't thrown a punch yet. And sometimes when you're one of the bigger guys, light, heavy, and heavyweight, you know how hard they hit, so standing in and blocking is... Uh, a little bit more risky as the big guys, sometimes movement pays off more, but he needs to stand in the pocket and bully Wesley around. Taking his time at the halfway mark of round number one. Good movement by Wesley. Staying out of the range. Look at this. Missed with that front kick. Oh, he threw him off. Wow. Oh, that's that. Wesley's just running. Oh, he's hurt. Wesley might be hurt here. That is a big left hook. His captain taking him to step back up. As he might be on ginger legs right now. Yeah, he's fighting a much bigger opponent. He turned his back and ran, which is always risky, especially if they're aggressive, as he couldn't see the punch coming and got dropped pretty hard. Sandeep now, a lot more confidence after that knockdown, looking to land that hammer and end this fight early. I'd like to see West go back to that lead leg kick, but instead of attacking the thigh, go to that calf. You're fighting a much bigger opponent, you're going to have a hard time doing damage to legs that big. You can see Wesley immediately now looking to survive. He abandoned that plan of the kicks because the kicks were really working out well for him. The feints were working out well for him. There you go. Nicely done. A minute and a half remaining in this round number one. Nice Superman punch off the cage. Good throw by Sunday. That was not a wise choice for Wes. He took a shot from way too far away. But Sandeep's corner is telling him to go back to his own corner where he can get instruction. Oh, wait, he's stepping. He's up. Wow. He got the guillotine choke. I'm surprised. But Sandeep showing great evolution in his MMA with his striking, with his grappling, with everything. Very nicely done by Sandeep. Much, much more than just a knockout us. And you can see he is amped. He's pumped up. Obviously disappointed that his team couldn't make it, but gets the guillotine. Five points for Goa. That brings the total tally 20 to 10. Partner, that's still a huge margin. Still a big margin. Uh, certainly the fight before this was controversial in it being uh, not being given a chance after receiving a low blow. Uh, but Sandeep came out regardless of the situation and did exactly what he needed to. Here you see that's him drop it for that guillotine. Yeah. I don't know what happened here because it looked like it wasn't so tight, but that was the tap. So Sandeep had both his hands right under Wes's neck, just crushing down on that throat. And when you've got such a size difference, that strength makes all the a world of difference. Ladies and gentlemen, left Alvin Fernandez called a stop to the fight in the first round in three minutes and 40 seconds. Declaring the winner, submission by the guillotine choke. From the Gullah Pirates, Sandeep Dahia! Ladies and gentlemen,
going to go ahead with 10 points, but Delhi advanced to the finals with 20 points. Sandeep, wow, you are fighting like a beast. Bye. जिस तरीके से आपने लड़ा आपको मालूम था कि आप फाइनल्स में नहीं पहुंचने वाले हैं जीतने के बाद आपको चिल्ला रहे थे सीने को मार मार कर क्या चिल्ला रहे थे आप टीम का रिजल्ट दिन अच्छा नहीं था हमारी टीम का इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हमारे प्लेयर बेकार हैं लक की बात थी चलता ऊपर नीचे बट मुझे पता था कि क्या करना है अभी शुरू से ही मैं ये चाहता कि फिनिश फिनिश आपने देखा मैंने बहुत स्लो फाइट करी है मतलब सेट हो रहा था सेट हो रहा था क्योंकि इससे पहले तो मेरी फाइट थी वो दो राउंड चली थी क्योंकि उसमें मेरी बॉडी नहीं चल रही थी और सबको लग रहा है कि भाई कंपटीशन खिंच रहा है बट बॉडी नहीं चल रही थी पहली फाइट इससे पहले मेरी फाइट में इसमें बॉडी नहीं चल रही थी दोस्त पर आज तुम्हारी बॉडी चल रही थी तुम्हारा जोश चल रहा था सब चीज चल रहा था बट डेली आर इन दाइनल ऑफ द सुपर फाइट Leave! What a great win for Daya but unfortunately it was a little too late. Now let's take a look at that scoreboard. Gaping huge 10 point difference. Delhi advances to the finals to take on the Sherat Punjabs but